Ora boas pessoal, bem-vindos aqui ao terceiro episódio aqui do, do Dust, aqui com o Chuminho E ontem ficámos, ficámos aqui na, na situação e vamos tentar aqui matar o gajo, né? Vamos lá fazer aqui uma coisa para ver se dá para... É que não dá para... Não clip, não dá, não dá... O que é isto? E vamos tentar matar o gajo. <coughs> vamos lá ver aqui a situação louca. Help us. Vamos lá ver. Se eu consigo. Don't worry. O gajo. Vamos lá ver esta situação. Isto devia dar para. Opa. No, wait, that's not all of them. Não me digas que há mais. Isso que ele é daqui. Aqui o verdinho. E já está, pessoal. Não sei agora. Yeah, I think that's Well done, Dust. You have proven yourself a worthy swordsmaster. Ah, que 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 é então? I could probably take on another four or five of them. You know, if I had to. And this was there. Oh, thank you so much. What happened here? I... I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts. But this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? <clears throat> yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single. Está muito bacana. Além de mostrar aqui as subtítulos onde eles falam vamos jogar que é We're still a little shook up, but I think we'll be fine. I just need to sit here for a while. <coughs> My leg still hurts. You should get to safety when you can. I cleared out quite a few monsters on the way in, but you never know when they'll be back. Did one of those monsters hurt you? Well, I mean, not exactly. This old lug twisted his ankle running away from those monsters. Nice of you to stick around to protect your poor old wife. I was running to get help. Yeah, lots of help in the tool shed, I'm sure. What, you got a little army hiding in there? Maybe I should go. Oh no, please don't get the wrong idea. I still love my <coughs> husband, even if he is a coward. <laughs> oh, 
by yourself. Anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. Well, that must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. I, we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend Caleb here. We're just a little overwhelmed is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in? They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Korra. <coughs> We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh, ore deposits in the mountains! You know, gold, silver, um, mingonite? Prospectors, eh? <laughs> You're certainly well-armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. Well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is Bean. There's not much here, but we do have a... Mr. Bean. We need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. There's that, though. Prospectors, Fidgets? That was the best thing you could come up with? It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Ara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere <coughs> in this village. <coughs> I know this place. And that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well. But something... Something here is making me uneasy, like the calm before a storm. I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when I'm <clears throat> covered up like yours. Indeed. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally. But this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Ah, where are my manners? I'm Augustine, local strongman. Say... You want to arm wrestle? Uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. 
Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend, a blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when, but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give <coughs> him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Wow, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustin says hello. I'll be honest, there ain't a whole lot here. But you'll find a shop near the east entrance. Thanks, Augustin. Maybe we'll drop by. Yes? Uh, good morning? Hmm. Is it though? I... well, I guess? He guesses. Wonderful. <coughs> well, perhaps you can guess that I really no, don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the west. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about! Everyone's talking? Of course! You're the one who saved Oneida! Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh... Are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, <clears throat> Far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is! She Definitely is. I just, I want to make sure okay. with all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much. You're great. You're really, really great. Oh. You! You're perfect! Um, thanks? Not you! Listen, do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. Should be some box. RPG. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't! My box has been lost! Somebody must have stolen it! Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box and return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. Mamazita. Uh, you're a quiet one. Just manners. 
Rogers? You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, uh, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Dust, and my companion here is Fidget. Hello again. Dust? Really? Is something wrong? No, I I'm sorry. It's just an interesting <clears throat> name. I'm Ginger. Oh, and about those people you saved. Yes? Well, that was a noble thing to do. So thank you. One, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. Come, welcome to my humble shop. Travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? Josefina. My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. <coughs> Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. Good day, I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in <coughs> Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. 
And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. Well, she can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked <clears throat> by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'll be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dust? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dust. Of course, if you said no, I need to bite your Hoje parece que vou ter que fazer 30 minutos de episódio porque ainda não lutamos quase nada, só o primeiro bocadinho. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The watchman reported increased monster activity to the east of our village. So I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful. And I'll be back. Epa, mas isto que é só... You're the outsider. Yeah, Told nice you. me. That's great. So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. <coughs> oh, so therefore equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. Credo que era isto. Que ele disse em pé. Para cinco. Vamos lá ver se conseguimos agora matar alguém. A série parece estar muito fixe. Uh... Vou fazer aqui mais. Temos aqui mais uma cena.
Vou arranjar a defesa. Flapping. Flapping. <coughs> that isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Wait, you're right. Look out! We've got company. Lá, lá atrás um instante Será o. Um bocado. Um bocado o Fiji estava a dizer que é um, um tesouro, mas eu não estou a ver. <risos> e eu o que é que acho que acho que o José Zanega está aqui a ver?
dá pra passar ali alguma coisa. Acabar aqui de fazer isto. Como é que é isto anda para baixo? Faça ideia. Bem, vamos lá. Mais um episódiozinho aqui feito. E está andando de bota. E amanhã temos cá no, no, no outro episódio. E o que é que eu ia-vos a falar? Drive Club, PlayStation 4. A versão que eles iam dizer que estavam a dar vai só trazer poucos carros, muito por A versão completa dizem que tá, vai ficar mais barata para o Plus, mas que ganham, têm direito a 5 carros ou 11 carros e 5 pistas. Acho que é 11 carros e 5 pistas, é exatamente. Pá, primeiro falam numa coisa e depois dão outra. Começa a apertar o, o, o circo, mas está mal, está mal. Sempre a mentirem, pá. Querem é dinheiro esses cabrões, mas prontos. Fica aqui gravado e para a semana, para a semana não, amanhã há mais e deixem-me que aqui e abraço pessoal. Ah, antes de mais, antes de mais, pá, visitem os passarinhos.com, pá, agora temos lá umas, umas, umas coisas bacanas, engraçadas, que é, até vou abrir a página para não me enganar, que é o Rack of the Day, que é uma cena, é uma cena que vocês vão gostar, de certeza absoluta, que é aprovado por, pelos Chuck Norris, vocês vejam. Temos, vai sair sempre para todos os dias às, às 9 e meia da noite às 9 horas todos os dias sai uma música escolhida pelo, pelos passarinhos o Minho e o Dioguito todos os dias, todos os dias atenção, à sexta-feira há uma música de 30 minutos que é costuma ser espera hum, aí, eu até vos vou dizer tudo como, como está planeado de, seg de segunda à quinta sai uma música normal né? às 9 horas de segunda à sexta Sai o Rack of the Day, aprovado pelo Chuck Norris, às nove e meia. Às sextas-feiras sai, sexta-feira parte e que é aquela de mais ou menos 30 minutos, uma hora. Para vocês ouvirem, para começarem a entrar bem no... no, no, no. Aos sábados e domingos, gameplay com chuminho. Apesar de eu agora eu este, vou lançar, estes vídeos vou lançando semanalmente, na semana, uh, durante a semana. Ao domingo vai sempre sair um videozinho bacaninho. Ao domingo, cosplay ao meio-dia, que é aquela que, 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 que habituámos a, a ver. Agora neste momento está lá a Tomb Raider, mas tem outros mais, eu até clico aqui para ver. Tem, tem lá os antigos, que vocês clicam em cosplay, tem lá, Tomb, temos lá a Tomb Raider, te, temos lá Batman, temos lá Mary Jane do Spider-Man, Wonder, Wonder Woman, temos lá uh, Mary Doll, uh, cosplay artista do mês, temos lá Mortal Kombat, Harley Quinn, Super Mario Girls, Dragon Ball e, e temos lá Lollipop Sem só e Scooby Doo Cosplay. Deem lá uma vista de olhos e já sabem que todos os dias saem, saem, saem estas coisinhas novas. Só o domingo é que é que o cosplay, gameplay com chumbinho é aos sábados e domingos. Rack of the Day, todos, de segunda a sexta. Sexta-feira, party song, é só à sexta, né? Começa sexta-feira. E a música de segundas às quintas-feiras. Vá, abraço pessoal.